Hey guys, welcome, oh, welcome back to my channel. Ariana, who? Anyways guys, today we're gonna be looking at Miss Simone Summers and we have Marjorie in the background right now because she and her are besties, yes. I wanna give a big shout out once again to MJ for sending me these two dolls right here. They are going to be lovers, yes. Mwah. But today we're gonna be looking at Simone. So, you know, Margaret, shoo, shoo. Anyways, today is Margaret and Simone's release day. Can you believe Anyways guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Miss Simone Summers and we're gonna get into her, but let me just roll this intro real quickly. Hello? I just hit an Ariana Grande note. Hi. Miss Simone Summers is an icon. She's a legend and she is the moment. Now, come on now. <laughs> but for real, like, um, she really captured my heart and I really love her. She's super pretty and I'm very excited to get her out of the box, to be 100% honest with you guys. To get over her box real quickly so we can just open her and yeah. But just in case this is your first time watching a Pacific Coast review, these dolls are retail for $31 to $32 USD. I don't know how much they're going to be in Canada or Europe or anywhere else. So sorry about that. So far, they're rolling out in shipment. So just be patient and of course, as I always say, don't buy into resellers because, you know, these are going to be available everywhere. And, you know, why pay $50 to $60 for a doll when you can get two for that price in store? Come on now. Let's use our heads. Let's use our heads. But Simone is the Sunrise character. She is so pretty. I love her color scheme. She has an orange and a hot pink kind of color scheme. A very, you know, ombre moment. It's giving Instagram. She's just serving. She really is serving, guys. Oh my God. So just like the other Pacific Coast dolls, they come in this square box instead of a kind of rounded edge one. You get the doll in the middle and you get her little beach accessories on the side right here. On the top it says collect the rainbow and it says series one Simone Summer. On the side it says rainbow high in a gold metallic font. And also there is a gold palm tree right here and it finishes on this side to show you this really pretty kind of purplish pink background. On the bottom it says watch on YouTube and you can see Simone herself, Finn, and Bella. On her accessory window it says Pacific Coast. On the side of the box it says her name and she's a photography focus. Oh my god. If we turn it around you can see it says Rainbow High Pacific Coast. It's really cute and we get illustration of all of the characters in this collection. There's On the bottom it says meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts high school on the west coast here the days are sunny and the classes are poolside and the drama rolls in like the tide and guys if you're looking for miss simone here is her barcode just go ahead and take a little snapshot a little screenshot you can get my hand in the background i don't care but yeah guys now that we've gone over her box pretty much because it's a pretty basic box it's you know it sells the product as it has to let's get her open shall we Icon. Okay guys, I got Miss Simone Summers out of her box and I will go over the doll in a second, but I wanna show you exactly what she comes with and all that jazz. So she comes with this really cool orange stand. It's a transparent color and uh, it is, the stands for this line have been so good. I love all the colors. She comes with a handbag, comes with some sunglasses, a beach towel and some spare legs. We'll talk about these after. So fresh out of the box, she's stunning. She's everything. I take back all the hate I've said about her in the past. I still don't like this thing and we'll get to that once I get to it. But let's move on to the doll herself. For her hairstyle, she has a half up, half down. She's serving Ari on Let me take off the stand. It's kind of annoying. Her hair color is everything. It is a pinky color. It has some orange in it. It has some yellow streaks that are kind of a blonde. Soft in the back and then there is some product at the ends, but it's not that bad mainly like right here and like right there that's pretty much all the product but then again you gotta remember that this doll was sent to me from mga so i'm not sure how the product is going to be on all the simones out there but i like it so far i'm so happy that they did a scrunchie for her as well because as you guys may or may not know i love the scrunchies hers is this really pretty pink color and there's some gold in it as well she also has a little piece of hair right there she has a cute little visor on that has a white border and this is made of that kind of fake leather kind of material she has a really pretty checker print pattern up here and it kind of has an ombre going from yellow to kind of a pink color and there's checker prints as well. As for the visor itself, it's made of 
of a clear kind of vinyl material and it has a brim that is the same right here. If you lift the visor up, that she has some baby hairs that are painted in the exact color that her hair is made of. So we have some yellowish blonde and some pinks and oranges. It's really pretty. And a lot of us didn't know she had these because her visor kind of like just blocks it and you really don't see it that much. So we love that for her. As for her head mold, it is brand new, it seems. It says 2021 on the back. I think it's just a existing head mold we've already seen, but they added the edges to it. I think she has the twins mold though, judging by how it looks. I could be wrong. I need a face mold chart for all the Rainbow High dolls that have been coming out. Moving on to the doll's face, she has a tan skin complexion. She has some black eyebrows that fade at the tips. It's really cute. As for her eye makeup, she has a orange eyeshadow on her lid, a golden metallic on her crease, and above that, she has that kind of pink color that she looks like she might have blended out. Super cute. It's super pretty. It does match her very well, and the aesthetic is still there. I love that for her. She has these really pretty kind of purplish blue eyes. As for her lips, I love her lips. She has the best lip I've seen so far on a Rainbow High doll. They have a really pretty pink color on them, and she's showing some teeth, as you can see. She also has earring holes, but no earrings. And now we're going to move down to her bathing suit. For her bathing suit, she's wearing a one-piece bathing suit. Let me take her wrap down, and I'll show you. So as you can see, she's wearing a body bathing suit. It has an ombre from a purple to a yellow, and it has all these prints on it. There's some sparkles. There's a shooting star. There's an RH logo, and this is supposed to mimic a, I believe it's a Versace swimsuit, but the funny thing is uh, the ombre is on the other side completely, so uh, it's a complete dupe, so I love that. She also has this belt and an RH emblem that's in gold that has a metallic finish to it. It does not separate in the back. It's part of the bathing suit. The bathing suit is made of a, you know, bathing suit material. I don't recommend putting these dolls in water for like long periods of time unless you're washing their hair, but like, I don't know how chlorine would react to these dolls because most kids are going to want to play with these in the pool, and of course, us collectors are not going to do that, so, um, you know, just try to keep your dolls in good shape, guys. As we move down to her wrap, it has that same kind of ombre, kind of sunrise kind of motif going on. So we have orange to purple, and it has a little stitching and gathering right here, along with this little string that's in purple and has two golden balls right there. It's a pretty simple little wrap, and it velcros in the back. I kind of wish one of these um, Pacific Coast dolls had like kind of one of those, um, I don't know what they're called, but people wear them when they go out. It's like a jacket kind of, I don't know what it is. It's like a jacket or wrap, but I don't know. I wish one of them would have had it. And if we move down to her shoes, she's actually one of the dolls that have the original pointed feet. She's wearing these little sandal heels that are really cute. They have that checker print that she has on her visor going on. And again, it's a kind of ombre moment. So we go from yellow to a pinkish purple. The bottoms are white. And if we look in the front, you can see it straps around, leaving a gap in the side. It says rainbow in a gold plate. It's really cute. They're not my favorite shoes. I feel like I've seen better rainbow high shoes come out out, but they're all right for what this line is. But now guys that we've looked at Miss Simone Summer in the flesh, I'm going to show you all of her accessories now. She comes with sunglasses. Now this is the first Rainbow High collection ever to come with sunglasses. No other dolls have come with these surprisingly and it kind of shocks me to this day still, but glad we're getting sunglasses now. But she has these really cute low sunglasses that have orange lenses and the frame is gold. And if you turn it to the side, it just says RH in a circle and it's just completely gold. And this is what her sunglasses look like on her face. Um, I'm not sure if I like them as much. Here's her bag. Now, I think she has the best bag out of the entire wave. Uh, these, this bag is iconic. It matches her bathing suit as well. So it has this kind of sandish beige color as a brim and it's made of a faux leather. Straps are made of plastic and they're just sewn on. She has a monogram bag and it has an ombre from pink to yellow. And on the side, you can see there are some straps and hardware. The hardware is gold and metallic and they're circles and they hold. And on either side, it says R or H. Like this bag is everything. It's made of a nice material. It kind of feels like canvas and I like it. And it does have a piece of plastic in it so it keeps its shape in the bag. And I'm just going to give her her bag right now as well. Look at her matching with her bathing suit. Next we have her towel. It is a white color and in the middle it has a pair of heart sunglasses. And in the lenses you can see the beach. The sun is setting or rising and the trees are purple and you can see some water. And it does say rainbow high in the middle. And once you open open it up. It's this big. It does feel like a actual beach towel. So the front is very soft while the back has that kind of grittiness. So it stays on the sand. If you know what I'm talking about, I really do like the beach towels. I like how they're all personalized for each character. And honestly, hers is kind of the most basic. I feel like it doesn't really match her like aesthetic other than what's in the lens. I mean, it's still a very soft towel and these are super cute to roll up and just put into their arms, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm just going to put that under her arm and oh, not me messing her up. Come on, girl. There we go. And she just holds it like that 
and it probably could fit in her bag if I really wanted it to. I got Hallie's to fit in her bag and I think Harper's did, but I can't remember. It's It's been a minute. So as I've mentioned in the other reviews and I mentioned earlier, each Pacific Coast doll comes with a pair of legs. They're either going to be pointed or they're going to be flat because Simone is wearing already pointed feet. She comes with her flat feet and basically it's so that they could wear either or shoes, which is really good. But again, I kind of wish they just did an ankle articulation. I know some people have told me in my Hallie review that if they did that, then they would have had to do like toes and all that. And I kind of understand these might just get lost and I don't know. I'm just thinking of like the future, you know? But in order to swap the legs, all you need to do really is pull off one leg at a time. Ah. And then you're gonna wanna match the left to the left and the right to the right. And right now we're gonna be putting on the left leg. And just like that, now she can have either flat feet or pointed feet to wear either or shoe. Yeah, guys, let me get her all put back together and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on Miss Simone Summers. Yes, yes, so BRB. Okay guys, and we've gotten her fully accessorized. I have her holding her sunglasses because I really don't like how they look on her face. It's, it's been bugging me. <laughs> but okay guys, we have reached the end of this review. I love the doll. I think she's really pretty close to Bella with the basicness, I think. Like, I like how the other ones have like at least like three pieces, but I feel like the ones that just got the solid one piece bathing suit and just have like either shorts or like a little wrap around. I feel like they're like the most basic out of this collection. When it comes to the bathing suit aspect, of course, she's a stunning doll and I can't wait to see people redress her and do her hair differently by the way guys she has a middle part period for $32 I feel like she could have been well like a $27 doll totally because of you know the bathing suit situation but again all the pieces are like really well made like the towels feel real the bags are actually made of a nice material so again it's just really up to you like and how much you're willing to spend on the doll as I always say there's always going to be a sale around the corner so if you are not comfortable spending $32 right now off the bat I would wait for a sale but if she's your favorite from the Pacific Coast dolls line and you see it enough reviews and pictures of her I totally recommend getting her you know she's really pretty and I think you guys would enjoy her just as much as I'm enjoying her right now I can't wait to like you know mess around with her outfits and see what she can wear but yeah guys that ends up the review pretty much if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a big like and comment down below who's your favorite Pacific Coast character and have you found these dolls in the stores yet I'm very curious if you're new to the channel hi my name is Jay and I do doll stuff duh and we would love you to join the family and if you aren't following me on TikTok or on Instagram it's at zombiexcorn as well and thanks again to MJ for sending me miss simone for free to review for you guys it's so wild that you know mga's actually noticed me and it's like whoa hi <laughs> and again if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be doing what i'm doing and honestly thank you guys as well i will see you in the next video bye for now